Will the congregation please stand?
name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you are all the sides known, and from you no secret society. Thanks to God's of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, we remember before you today your servant Franklin, and we pray that having opened to him the gates of larger life, you will receive him more and more into your joyful service, that with all who have served you in the past, he may share in the eternal victory of Jesus our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Good morning, church. The scripture is taken from Wisdom of Solomon, verse, chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. But the souls of the just are in God's hand. No torment will touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to be dead. Their departure was reckoned as defeat, and their going from us as disaster. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they may suffer punishment, they have a sure hope of immortality and after a little chastisement, they will receive great blessings because God has tested them and found them worthy to be his. He put them to the proof like gold, incrucible, and found them acceptable like an offering burnt whole on the altar. In the hour of their judgment, they will shine in glory and will sweep over the world like sparks through stubble. They will be judges and rulers over nations and peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. Those who have put their trust in him will understand that he is true, and the faithful will attend upon him in love. They are his chosen, and grace and mercy will be theirs. The word of the Lord.
The second lesson is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 through 9. We know that if the earthly frame that houses us today is demolished, we possess a building which God has provided, a house not made by human hands, eternal and in heaven. In this present body we groan, yearning to be covered by our heavenly habitation, put on over this one, in the hope that being thus clothed, we shall not find ourselves naked. We groan indeed, we who are enclosed within this earthly frame. We are pressed because we do not want to have the old body stripped off. What we want is to be covered by the new body, put, on, put over it, so that our mortality may be absorbed into life immortal. It is for this destiny that God himself has been shaping us. And as a pledge of it, he has given us the spirit. Therefore, we never cease to be confident. We know that so long as we are at home in the body, we are exiled from the Lord. Faith is our guide, not sight. We are confident. I say and would rather be exiled from the body and make our home with the Lord. That is why it is our ambition wherever we are, at home or exile, to be accepted to him. The word of the Lord.
Jesus saw the crowds, he went on the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, or they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were far before you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ the final curtain my friend he said it clear he stood his case of which he's certain he's lived a life that's full he's traveled each and every highway and more more than this, he did it God's way. Regrets, he's had a few, but then again, too few to mention. He did what he had to do. And he saw it through without exemption. He planned each chartered course, each careful step along the byway. And more, much more than this, he did it call. Sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew, but through it all, when there was doubt, he ate it up and spit it out. He faced it all, and he. i 
laughed and cried He's had his fill His share of losing And now As tears subside He found it all So amusing To think He did all that And may I say not in a shy way Oh no Oh no not him He did it God's way For oh, what is a man What has he got If not himself Then he has not To say the your attention please there's a black Chevy truck park in the middle of the driveway in the parking lot uh, we would like that you please move it uh, there's an emergency that somebody need to get out thank you may I before we begin recognize the presence of mr. Reese Chipman the representative for Setterville, the honorable leader of the opposition, uh, Mr. Brave Davis, Prime Minister Perry Christie, Bishop Bryce Thompson, Reverend Bartram Bethel, Reverend Livingston, Malcolm, and I see one or two other reverends in here. I know what I say. <laughs> Kellen Warren Rule, Father James Mutri, Archbishop Drexel Gomez have all come to share in this celebration. Her Excellency the Governor General has sent her greetings, but because of other functions going on at Government House, she is unable to be here. They sat there to each, each other every Sunday morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Words 
found in the sixth verse of the 150th Psalm. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. I wish on behalf of the entire family of St. Agnes to extend to the family of Frankie our sincerest love and assurance of our prayers, support, and the best wishes on the home run of Frankie, who will surely be missed by this entire family. Moreover, I wish to salute Andrew, a good woman, a good wife, a good mother. In all her personal struggles, she has stood strong in the faith believing that God will make a way. More than often, most of the verses in the Bible that we have committed to memory have been from the book of the Psalms. For somehow, we have always thought that there was some refuge and comfort to be found in the recitation of the Psalms especially in situations for immediate help and healing. The chap who goes before the magistrate becomes very religious and he begins to recite, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> oh yes, we would find the Bible and turn always to the book of the Psalms. I remember when I was a younger priest in Bimini and we would travel on the seaplane from Bimini to Paradise Island and there was a lady who was well qualified in the local French language who was on the plane with me that day and I always sit right next to the door on that plane. And because I knew who she was, and being wicked as I am, I started to call her all kinds of names. I call her black, I call her picky head, and she just be puffing and puffing and puffing. Because as soon as that plane got into the water, she took out her red New Testament. You know that New Testament they used to give us in, in school. And it's amazing that the New Testament would have a section for the Psalms, which comes from the Old Testament. Boy, and she would just be. And she wouldn't wreck on that plane because she was afraid of the flight, but she found refuge and solace in reading the Psalm as long as that plane was in the air and on the water. And as soon as we got to Paradise Island, I opened that door and I gone with my business because I know what I, oh hallelujah, would have gotten from her when her feet was on the land. But she found some assurance in the Psalms. We when we and we are in trouble, we always rush to that. 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. The wonderful thing I like about that portion of the Psalm is that uh, my favorite, he spreads a table before me in the presence of my enemies and my cup runs over. Now me and the Archbishop always at war with that running over because he tells me there's no Hebrew word that describes a cup running over. It says the cup is full. So I tell him, their cup could be full, but mine or running over. There are so many things we find 
assurance in as we move from place to place. Yet, even in our praises and our worship, most religiously on the 21st of January, St. Agnes Day, we look forward to singing the psalm and everybody would lustily sing. Let everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. It was always in thanks and praise for the goodness of the Lord. It was always when we stopped and realized what the Lord has done for us in this life. When our backs were against the wall and the future looked gloomy. When everyone who was uh, with us all the time, when we start to catch hell, desert us. We find ourselves standing and looking to the hills from whence would come our help. It was always when everyone had given up on us and we thought that we were at the end of our rope when God would step in in our lives and he would open a way or no way. He would scatter the crowds, even our enemies. Lo, as we look, the Red Sea divides before us and God makes a pathway for us on dry land. And we take a deep breath and shout, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Our gathering today is one of praise and thanksgiving. One where we stop to recognize somebody who has affected our lives so cheerfully, who has now gone beyond. One who was always in our midst in worship and prayer, in Bible study and prayer, in men's fellowship and prayer, on the usher board and in service. One would find Frankie serving his God in spirit and in truth, always with a smart talk on his lips. Yet, moving in his stylish way. But, who would have thought that he would always there, be there chuckling to someone. He waited every Sunday morning until I entered that door with a smart talk. But he brought laughter and cheer to everybody who knew him. Someone could have come the church a Sunday morning and bend down in the dumps, Frankie would say something to them. And lo and behold, the frown is turned into a smile, all because of Frankie. So Frankie, we say, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. He was the husband of anger. A match made in heaven, no place else. A woman who knew how to pray. A woman who proved God in her life. A woman who has been affected by these many, many ways God has blessed her. A father of children that grew to respect him. Those strike out sometimes. Even those times when struck out, he tried, tried again to be that husband, that father, that faithful servant of God. He was the one that kept the sparkle in Andrea's eye and the hope that never allowed her to give up on him. She had a GPS 
on Frankie. <laughs> that when no one could find him last week, she knew where he was. And as a faithful wife, to cause him to be in the outpatient's department of the hospital. How wonderful was this, Frank? And so we say, let everything have breath. Listen to the many voices that witness to this hall famer. This first class ball player whose season has now been shut down. But his relationship with his God grew day after day, deeper and deeper every time. I always told him that, Frankie, you got this big Bible that that preacher used to have on the, on the, on, on, on the market wall. You know that Bible is so big to turn over. He said, don't worry about that. I'm going in the back. And he was here every day, every week, sorry, for Bible study. He was mindful of the words. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give God the glory who is in heaven. What a wonderful man was Frankie. Sinful? Who ain't? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Did his own thing? Who doesn't? Huh? But he knew where God was. And he endeavored by the grace of God to be the best. And he showed himself to be the best. What a wonderful Christian witness was he. Not much noise. People believe because you're saved and sanctified, you'll be jumping up and carrying up. Mm -mm. He endeavored to live that gospel and affect people's lives through his cheerfulness. And so, when we came to church on Sunday, and I looked to the right, there was no Frankie. And I said to myself, I wonder what he up to now? Not knowing what was going on just then, until the note came to me. And so we celebrate his life. We celebrate his witness. We celebrate all that he has been in this country. We celebrate that individual who one day on his Damascus road found the Lord and did his best to serve him. And to serve him to the very best. So I'm right. There are no more strike, strikeouts. He has knocked his last ball and he has knocked it out of the park. It's a home run. He has gone where the wicked shall cease from troubling him. And his very soul will be at rest. So we say, that everything that have breath. with confidence and hope confess the faith into which we were baptized as we say together I believe in God 
create us and lead in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, and he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For our brother Franklin, let us pray to the Lord Christ who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for our brother and dry the tears of those who weep. Yes, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in sorrow. Yes, Lord. You raised the dead to life. Raise our brother Franklin to eternal life. Hear us, Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother Franklin the joys of heaven. Hear us, Lord. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. Hear us, Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our brother Franklin. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our brother who was reborn by water and the spirit in holy baptism. Grant that his death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to the ages of ages. Amen. Our act of penitence. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins Almighty God, I am your Father. We have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the midst of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Let us then pursue the things that make for peace and build up the common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
in thanksgiving to our ever-loving, ever-gracious God for the life and witness of our dear brother Frankie. We thank God for all he enabled him to accomplish in his life. And we pray that he will find a place in the heavenly kingdom of God. We offer prayers of support for Andrea, the children and grandchildren in this time of trial, in the assurance that this God who has been with us will continue to journey with us and bless and empower us to overcome all of our trials and tribulations. And we give thanks for the fellowship of this church family of St. Agnes that has nourished Frankie over these years and encouraged him to continue in the service of the Lord. The Lord be with you. up comforts us with the blessed hope of life eternal. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who oh, forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. creation into being. In your great love you fashioned us in your image, and in your tender compassion you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to share our human nature. In the power of the Holy Spirit, he overcame the power of sin and death, and brought your people to new birth as first fruits of your new creation. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. 
And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. after supper he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and said drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins whenever you drink it do this for the remembrance of me Therefore, Father, according to the command of your dearly beloved Son, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer you, Father, our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Send your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus our Lord and Redeemer, as we partake of this holy food of new and unending life, may your Holy Spirit establish us as a royal priesthood with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Agnes, St. John the Baptist, and all your sons and daughters who share in your eternal inheritance <coughs> through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for with him and in him and through him by the power of the Holy Spirit we worship you Father Almighty with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Savior has taught us, 
break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The gifts of God for the people of God. Our souls will feast and be satisfied, and we will sing glad songs of praise to him. Lamb of God, grant Lamb of God, grant
let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us the foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, for the fullness of joy is Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen.
shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints. Their sorrow and pain are no more. I have sighing for the life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Let us commend our brother Franklin to the mercy of God, our maker and redeemer. Deliver your servant Franklin, O sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil. Set him free from every bond, that he may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitations, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign. One God forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O oh merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Franklin. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sin of your own redeeming. Receiving into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in life, through the same Christ our Lord.
Just go cool.